Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we're bringing you another Lightboard lesson video. Today we're going to talk about a real attack story that our Silverline Security Operations Center, or SOC, uh, helped mitigate and helped save the day for, uh, for these customers. So here's what happened. Um, over in Asia Pacific area of the country, um, there was a recent attack on several customers, frankly. And most of these were financial companies, but some of them were uh, some high-tech companies as well. And what happened was you had these attackers. So I'll just draw like a, a picture of kind of what went on here. So you've got attacker over here, and the attacker owns a bot net, um, or certainly controls it, whatever. So you got all these uh, you know bots as part of a bot net that this attacker controls, and this thing is launching uh, traffic at a target victim. So here's the uh, you know here's the target victim over here, target victim. And the goal of this attack, of course, is to launch so much traffic at the target victim website that this thing just can't handle all the, all the uh, traffic. And so it just stops, you know, it just shuts down or it can't handle, you know, because it's inundated with bad traffic, it can't handle the good traffic, right? So what the, what the attacker group did is they posed as a well-known attack group over in that area. And they sent, uh, they sent like notes to these companies and said, hey, we are this other like really well-known attack group. And if you don't pay us some ransom money, then we're going to start launching DDoS attacks at your website. Um, and then in order to prove their, you know, validity or whatever, they sent, they launched like a demo, what we'll call like a demo DDoS attack. And it was kind of the shorter version of the, uh, of what would be like an actual DDoS attack against these companies that they sent these notes to, right? And so a lot of companies started kind of freaking out saying, hey, uh, this is legit stuff and we don't want the real deal D DDoS attacks. So we're going to pay the ransom um, or, you know, whatever business decisions they ended up making. So, uh, so then what happened was a lot of other customers hear about this and they start coming to F5 saying, hey, we don't want to be the target of this, what would be this, uh, you know, big DDoS attack. And so, of course, You've got Silverline, the Silverline sock that sits in between, sits in front of our customers. And so any kind of attack that gets launched is gonna go through Silverline. So the, the nature of the attack that, these, that this attacker launched against these, against these different companies uh, was a series of uh, amplification attacks. So a few of the type of amplification attacks were DNS, CLDAP, and I'll just write a few of these up here. NTP, I'll put dot, 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 because they did a whole bunch of them. SSDP was one of them. Um, and all of these were amplification attacks uh, that use the UDP protocol. Um, and so the nature of an amplification attack, we've gone over this in other attack videos, but the nature of it is that the attacker can send uh, a, a very small request into one of these uh, vulnerable servers, and let's say in this case DNS, and then the response uh, goes to the, act, the victim. <clears throat> so what the attacker is able to do is spoof the IP address of the, uh, of the source of this request. So then the response is going to go back to what they think is the actual person asking, but the response in effect is going to the target victim. Um, and, you can, and you can do this because UDP is a connectionless protocol and it doesn't require the, you know, the connection like TCP does, that kind of thing. So, um, the nature of the amplification attack, though, is that the request itself into any one of these vulnerable servers is going to be very small in nature, but then the response coming out of this is going to be amplified, like huge. And so what ends up happening is, you know, if you've got a bunch of these coming into all these different servers, right, then you've got tons and tons of traffic just flooding into uh, the target victim website. So that, again, the goal of the attacker is to, to just inundate this thing with, with volume and traffic uh, so that it just can't handle it. Which by the way, the peak target or the peak volume amount of this specific attack uh, was uh, right around 50 uh, gigabits per second. So I'll just say G gigabits per second. So, uh, which by the way, <clears throat> 50 gigabits per second, frankly, is not like the largest we've ever seen, uh, you know, on the internet, <clears throat> the history of DDoS attacks kind of a thing. But a lot of times though, what attackers will do is they'll say, hey, I don't need to send you know, a terabit of volume or you know, something like that. If let's say, let, let's say that 40 gigabits per second would do the trick to knock this thing offline or just can completely consume all of its resources, then why send a terabit when you can just get away with 50 gigabits, right? So basically 
use enough volume that'll do the trick, and then that's all you got to do, right? So that's what the attackers tend to do. So just because you may not see the largest volume number ever to be seen kind of a thing, uh, <clears throat> don't necessarily ignore that. That could be a very significant amount of traffic. Um, so they used all of these different types of amplification attacks all at the same time, um, which by the way, Silverline has seen these things a million times. There's, they've got lots of different ways to, uh, to uh, basically set up rules to drop, um, drop that protocol and then drop the port number that would be associated with any one of these different you know, types of uh, servers that would be vulnerable. And they can add that to some of the rules here on Silverline. And that way, as traffic flows through Silverline before it hits your company's website, then Silverline is going to be able to stop that. But underlying all of this traffic that's going on all at the same time, there was also an HTTPS get flood. So I'm going to put get flood here. All righty. And this one is different than the UDP stuff because it's the HTTPS. It's the layer seven. It's the, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a different nature of an attack. These are legitimate HTTP requests, right? They're GET requests, and the idea here, these are still coming from all these different bots, by the way, so this just everything's flooding in. <clears throat> but the nature of what this is trying to do is hit a specific URI on your web application so that it just inundates the web server, and the web server just can't keep up with all the different requests. What Silverline was able to do on this specific uh, portion of this whole attack is figure out that a very specific URI path was being targeted and, in, and uh, specifically what was happening in this one was it was a developer, developer underscore login page. All right, so on this developer login page, all of these GET requests are coming in for that specific URI, that path. So. Uh, what Silverline was able to do is say, hey, we can, on the big IP itself, we can rate limit the connections that come into this thing, into that specific URI, uh, because frankly, if it's a developer login page, that's not just any login page, that's like the developers that are developing the web application or whatever, uh, chances are very good that you're not going to have like hundreds and thousands of GET requests to that specific, you know, URI in a given, you know, minute or whatever, right? So, um, so anyway, so, so what they were able to do is rate limit the connections that come to that specific URI uh, and do that on the big IP, and then that stopped the, uh, the get flood attack. So it, <clears throat> you know, all these uh, requests that were coming in, they, frankly, they were mostly illegitimate anyway, so, uh, so that rule, that, that rate limiting did the trick. So um, Silverline has a bunch of these different um, mitigation tools in their tool belt, as it, as it were. They have seen all of these different types of attacks many, many times. And so whenever they see, hey, there's another DNS amplification or NTP amplification attack or whatever, they know exactly what to do to stop that. Um, in the case of these, uh, these other like layer seven attacks, then you may have to get a little bit more creative, but nonetheless, they've seen these, <clears throat> these things as well. <clears throat> in this case, you figure out what the, what the URI is and then you can say, hey, let's rate limit that and boom, that stops the attack as well. So in the end, our customers were safe from all of these different attacks uh, that happened. Uh, but nonetheless, this is exactly what happened, you know, and, and this, is, this is the real world that we live in today. So, um, you know, if you don't have a DDoS, uh, you know, protection provider, then you need to get one because this stuff happens all the time. So Silverline does a great job. Um, and they keep our customers safe. So, uh, so great job, Silverline SOC team. And uh, hey, thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video. I hope you've learned a few things about the nature of DDoS attacks that happen in the world today and how you need to protect yourself or you need to have a, you know, this awesome team like Silverline SOC out there to help protect you. So hey, if you like this thing, then you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.